these programs are shared with educational purposes only and they are not designed as a prescription tool. For personal nutritional consultation, you can book an appointment through our website. Thanks for listening. My name is Oscar Sandy and this is Health on Audio, a short program where we put the emphasis on health. Today we are going to talk about refined vegetable oils and margarines. These products are usually extracted from sunflower, seeds, grapeseed or canola, soy, cotton. Now, through a process of high pressure, high temperatures, chemical, refining, bleaching and degumming. That's why we call them refined oils and margarines. The standard deodorization process to remove a large portion of the rancid omega-3 fatty acids is achieved by turning this compound into trans fatty acids. And trans fatty acids are a dangerous compound. Now many commercial companies of refined vegetable oils and margarines do not list the percentage of trans oils or trans fatty acids, I should say, in their products. Others will use a standard figure of 0.2%. However, a figure that is far from what the University of Florida at Gainesville found to be more realistic. In this university studies, a 4.6% of trans fatty acids was found in great number of these oils. Now, why is this a concern for us? Now, these vegetable refined oils and margarines have been advertised as, an, as a healthy alternative. Recently, I actually saw a margarine that promoted organic rapeseed oil. Now, rapeseed oil is actually canola oil. It just sounds more fancy to say rapeseed oil. And then that magic word, organic. And he actually said zero trans fatty acids, which is actually not true. Any product that contains this type of oils in it will contain a significant amount of trans fatty acids. Now, these products are have been advertised as containing zero cholesterol. Now, of course, they come from vegetable from the vegetable oil plant kingdom, which means that do not have any cholesterol. However, the reason why I wanted to share this message with you today was the following. Trans fatty acids will rise your cholesterol in a bad way. See, trans fatty acids will cause free radicals and oxidative stress. And as a response mechanism from your liver, you will generate something called endogenous cholesterol as a protective mechanism. Trans fatty acids will rise your cholesterol. In fact, in many aspects, much more than dietary cholesterol. Also, trans fatty acids have been studied in their implication with cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and inflammatory conditions. Now, if I was you, I will strongly remove vegetable refined oils and margarines from my house, and also any product that has been produced using these oils. Your health will appreciate it. To make a nutritional appointment through video conference, visit our website newfootsteps.com.au to share the message. New audios and videos have been uploaded regularly in our YouTube channel and social networks.